Hello there, it's Tuesday. Welcome to Granada Reports. Also on the programme this evening. And if you're thinking of giving up on your New Year diet, scientists here at the University of Manchester have developed a solution that might help you out. Don't eat the cake. Don't eat the cake. Yeah, lots to come, so please stay with us first tonight. Right, well, still to come tonight. The job. Stay strong. Don't eat the cake. Yes, the computer hiding in your cupboard that could be the way to stick to that tricky New Year diet. I think I'd strangle that. Yeah, thing. I think you would, actually, yeah. <laughs> now, on... Now... I'm sure we've all done it. We're meant to be watching what we eat, but the lure of the chocolate biscuits in the cupboard is just too great. So, how can you beat that urge, Rachel? How? Well, I'll tell you. Computer scientists at Manchester University think they have the answer. They've attached a small computer, ironically known as the Raspberry Pi, to kitchen cupboards that will shame you into leaving those snacks alone. <laughs> It'll also send a tweet letting the world know what you're gorging on. How cruel. Adam McLean reports. Well, after weeks of excess, the start of a new year often brings with it the start of a new diet. But if you were thinking of giving up just one week in, scientists here at the University of Manchester have developed a solution that might help you along. Dr Andrew Robinson is part of a team that have created a device that will shame hungry dieters that fall astray. What exactly have you created? So what we've come up with is a device that uh, sits in the cupboard and then when late night snackers come and open the cupboard desperate for the chocolate, uh, it will give them a verbal warning and there's a bit, a bit of a fun character as well and it will also send them a tweet to their uh, Twitter account to shame them to say that they've broken the diet so that's a real incentive not to eat the biscuits. So should we give this a go? Yes. So if you open the cupboard and imagine that you're a late night snacker, you'll get a surprise. Adam, put a crisp snack in the cupboard. Put a crisp snack in the cupboard. So, looking on my Twitter account now, there's a new tweet here. What am I seeing? So, you're seeing a tweet which says that you've opened the cupboard, reached for the snack, and that way you might think twice before you go and uh, break your diet. What exactly are you doing this for? So, the Raspberry Pi uh, was designed uh, to try and get young people uh, interested in computing because there's a massive shortage in the number of people studying computing and also uh, in industry there's a skills shortage. It's, it's really it's just, just a bit of fun that in, uh, about in two hours they don't need any specialist equipment, they can just screw these uh, various parts together just with a screwdriver and a few wires and they can build their own fun uh, toy. The team has been running workshops at the Museum of Science and Industry, showing young people what can be done with the little Raspberry Pi computer. And if all this talk of pie is making you peckish... Stay strong. Don't eat the cake. Adam McLean, Granada Reports, at the University of Manchester. <laughs> I can't oh, think of a thing to say about that. It would not last two minutes in my cupboard. <laughs> now to the weather. You probably with eat Emma. It. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 